Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Angie here and if you are new here then welcome. I usually do haul videos like Dollar Tree hauls, TJ Maxx, like all things girly and beauty. But for today's video, I kind of wanted to do something different. So I wanted to do a get ready with me. So I have my little Hello Kitty little headband here. And at the same time, it's kind of like a haul because I got a bunch of new e.l.f. products that have been like super viral and they're like must haves. And so that's why I'm like, might as well do a two in one, a haul and a get ready with me. So let me show you what I got. Okay, so I already have my face uh, moisturized and washed and I'm gonna start off with the Woe Glow by e.l.f. So this has been like super viral and I actually was looking for a sunscreen that I could wear underneath my makeup and I have read so many good reviews. I know they came out with like the uh, setting spray with the SPF but you guys know I have oily skin and so I heard that it can get a little bit oily like if you put it um, on top of your makeup so it's probably better for drier skin but this one is for underneath your makeup and it just goes on really really smooth so far i really like it doesn't feel super oily you know how sunscreen usually feels like super oily on your skin um but this one does not and it doesn't leave a white cast as well it's like blending right into my skin and i do have a lot of redness on my face um so i was hoping that this would have like a little tint but it actually does not. Um, it does give a little glow to the face, so it feels really, really nice. But so far, so good. So I do like to moisturize my lips um, before I put anything else, like all my foundation and stuff on my face. I'm gonna be using this Bite Size Lip Balm in the Watermelon Scent. And I actually have not tried any of their little lip balms. Um, so, I really like like the cute little packaging and how um, tiny it is. So it can just fit right into your purse. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like Jolly Ranchers, like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. It smells really good and it's really moisturizing. So this one's definitely a 10 out of 10. I wonder if it gives like, is it giving a little tint? it is you guys so look at my lips it's actually like it has a tint to it I thought it was just like watermelon scent I didn't know it was gonna have a little tint to it but I'm gonna wipe that off later on because I am not using this it's like a really really bright pink but if you're looking for a tinted lipstick chapstick lip balm then definitely recommend that they also have a ton of different shades I am also going to be using the e.l.f. Power Group Primer and you guys know this is supposed to be a dupe for the uh, the Milk Gripping uh, Primer and I've actually tried the Milk. Um, I tried a little sample of it but I just can't like justify spending that much on a primer and I heard this one's a really good dupe which I have been wanting to get my hands on this for the longest time but I had not... Um, came around to purchasing it and it's always sold out at stores so I just waited to place an order online um to order this and actually it's better to order online because one they have everything in stock and two you get free gifts with purchase so I will be showing you guys what my free gifts are which I'm like super excited because they will actually come in handy but this one I don't know if it's because I use the um, SPF underneath, but it does not feel like the milk. It's not like gripping and it just, it feels really smooth on the skin, but maybe I have to wait for it to dry down or maybe I'm just not supposed to use it with the SPF because it's like and it just feels like a moisturizer it's not really like giving that like stickiness like the elf i mean like the elf like the milk one maybe if i do a little bit more i'm gonna do a little bit more on my t-zone but 
it feels yeah the texture feels really different so I'm sure it's still a good primer but I wouldn't say so far that it's a dupe for the milk because I've actually used the milk um, with my regular moisturizer and it does dry down a lot quicker and it does give like that really really stickiness this one like I'm starting to feel a little bit but it's not a lot it's not a huge difference so I'm gonna have to try it out without the SPF sunscreen and give my review because so far it's not not a dupe for the milk okay so I'm gonna be using the halo glow liquid filter and this is another one of the products that I was really really excited for because I know this went super viral everywhere and it was like sold out for the longest time but this is in the shade 2 fair light okay so this one actually comes with a deep brush and this is what it looks like it has a little foundation like scent to it but I hope that I picked out the right shade. I was not sure which one to pick out. Um, this one for being light, like fair light, it's not, it's kind of a little dark still. And I'm usually like in, in between fair and light. I'm not really medium or, um, or light as well, but I don't know we'll see I'm gonna just be using my beauty blender just to blend it all out but actually even though it looked a little dark it's blending in really really well and this is actually really helping covering up all that redness and it's giving a very very pretty glow which you guys I usually go for a matte base like really really matte base and a matte foundation because I will be getting super oily throughout like the day and I do not need to add any more shine to my face but I saw that people with oily skin were like trying this out and they really liked it for a base underneath the makeup just because it like gives like a very useful like natural glow to the skin and I actually really like it even though it's like super glowy, it is not, it does not feel heavy or like oily on the skin. So it feels really, really nice, very lightweight. And I'm going to have to turn up the brightness because this room is all super dark. You guys, it's like 6 p.m. and it's already super dark outside. So that's why it looks super dark here and I actually have like a ring light, but I'm going to have to turn up the brightness because... It is so dark in here. That looks so much better. But yeah, look. It got rid of like all the redness on my skin. So 10 out of 10 for this one. Like now I get what the hype is all about. But I'm going to go in with a little more coverage. I'm just going to use my regular foundation. This is not e.l.f. And then I'll be right back. So that actually looks amazing with my regular foundation. It just gives it like... A very very pretty glow and it just like blends in everything together it's just like a natural glow which I love because I'm telling you guys with my oily skin I'm very very picky with like how my base comes on but so far so good I'm so impressed like no wonder these are viral I am also going to be using the contour the halo glow uh, contour and the blush so this is actually the blush is in the shade berry radiant and the contour is in medium tan so i know i keep saying this but i was excited to try all of these um because yeah they're they were all over tiktok like i know i'm super late in the game and just people just keep raving about these but i'm like so glad that i'm finally trying them out which like I am not used to using um, liquid um, contour and blush at all, so I I hope I'm not using too much. <laughs> I hope it's like blends out not as dark, but this is, I don't even know, but I actually have this e.l.f. Uh, blending brush. This one is so good for contour. so. 
I use it with like my regular powder um, but it looks like it's working really really nice with the um, the liquid as well definitely it just like snatches it up and like blends it beautifully so their brushes honestly like I have been using elf brushes ever since like I was in high school and started doing my makeup because I was like on a budget um I think we all were in high school we we're broke high school students okay broke unless your mom and dad gave you everything but I was just like looking for whatever worked best for me that was on a budget and elf like always came through these have forever ever been my favorite brushes and I've used like high-end brushes now that I'm like an adult an adult <laughs> now that I'm an adult and they honestly I always go back to them because they just work so well they're super affordable and they're just like elephants always came through when it came to being like affordable um quality high quality makeup and even now more than ever because they are just like killing the game with all these new items i think i put a little bit too much on the nose but i'm just trying to blend it out with like my little wet beauty blender because i don't usually contour my nose but i wanted to see what it looked like with the wand and it looks good it looks good I can even blend this out but honestly the the brush did such an amazing job so definitely recommend this and then i'm also gonna do what did i do the um blush so like i said you guys i have really oily skin so i don't like using a lot of cream products on my face and i always always go for powders and this is actually like the full the first time actually doing like a full face of just um like liquid and it is like not oily or not heavy at all on my skin like i really really like it i really like how like all these products are just like blending beautifully together I think i'm just gonna do a little bit for now and i know this one was supposed to be um this radiant what is this color the, this specific color was supposed to be like a dupe for the charlotte tilbury one but I'm going to be using my stippling brush. This is e.l.f. I'm telling you guys this. Ever since high school, I always used this brush. This one was like my go-to foundation brush. And then the little smaller one as well. Um, this one, I would use them until like literally the bristles were falling out. Because this was just like my favorite. So. It's also very blendable. I feel like the the um blush is really really pigmented and it's also very buildable so i only put a little bit and this is what it's looking like so i don't think i'll be adding more but if you wanted to just build it up and do more you can but so far it's like 10 out of 10 for all these products um I, except for the i don't know why you guys i really had high hopes for this and it's not giving what i thought it was going to be giving so, I don't know. It's still a very good primer, but it's just not a dupe for the milk. I'm going to say that. Okay, so I just went in and set my face with my regular powder. And I forgot that I also got this Luminous Pretty Blush. So, I'm actually going to put this just on top of my, um, on top of the powder. I don't think it matters honestly because it's just supposed to be like a luminous creamy blush so I don't know I'll probably just use this same elf brush and just like lightly tap it in I don't want to use too much but Ooh, it is very very pretty this is in the color Maui and it just has like a very light shimmer to it but it is so pretty and it's definitely definitely buildable so 
I think it's just like the very prettiest shade of pink. Like, look how pretty that is. It is gorgeous. And it's like blending out with like, even though I'm not even using the right brush, it's still blending out beautifully. And I think I want to do some on my nose a little bit. It's just blending out very, very pretty. I love this. 10 out of 10 for this one as well. It's just a very, very blush pink color. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it has like little shimmers in it. Let me see if I can show you guys. So it has a very, very light shimmers in it. But it's so pretty. I, this color, like, I am obsessed with it. I wonder if they have a powder one. Because I feel like powder color, that would be so cute. But I really, really like this. Um, and also, I also got some of these. Um, actually, I'm going to do my eyeshadows. These are the gifts that they had. So this was the gift with purchase. This is the um, little bite bite size eyeshadows so i think i'm gonna do this one is so pretty because it's just like a bunch of neutrals you can like take this on the go and um this is in the color i love you latte so it has like all the colors that you need look how pretty these shades are and they're all matte so i think i'm gonna go in with these two I'm going to go in with those two, just mix them up, and then just like do it all over the eyelid. I'm going to use this as my base color. They're just blending out beautifully. And I'm going to go in with the darker shade right here. I'm just going to use that on the outer corner. Just to create a little smokiness. And that was actually a lot more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. And that is amazing, you guys. Like, that was very, very pigmented. I didn't even think it was going to be that pigmented. And I only dipped into it, like, twice. Oops, blend that out. Just creating a little smoky eye. And then I'm going to go in with this one because this one actually has some shimmers in it. And this one is in the shade Rose Water. Look at all those very pretty shades. Actually has one matte here too. So this would be a great transi transition color. So I think I'm going to go with this one right here, this shimmery rose color. And I'm just going to use that on the eyelid. It's actually very, very creamy. And it's very, very pigmented as well. I am impressed by these little bite size, you guys. Like, these are great for traveling. If you're doing a little weekend trip, that way you're not taking your whole palette. Um... These are great, like they are amazing. They're super pigmented and they're very, very blendable. So look at that. Actually it makes my eyes look more open than this one, but very, very pretty. And I think I'm gonna go in with this like little cream color here. It's just a little matte um, and just apply that on the brow bone. Very, very pretty. I'm impressed, you guys. 10 out of 10 for these ones as well. So this is what it's looking like. And I think I'm going to go um, use this highlighter right here. So this is the um, 
bite size face do it has a blush and a highlighter so this one is white peach and this one is in the shade watermelon so it comes with the highlighter and a blush so i think i'm actually going to use the white peach um because it has a very pretty highlighter and i actually want to use it on my inner corners just to, like give it a little pop a little brightness and so this is what it looks like it's so pretty so i think i'm just gonna get my little this is my favorite elf brush you guys like this is the defining eye brush i like using this for my brow bone and also like my inner corners so i'm gonna be using this and just placing it right there so it just gives it a little pop kind of helps brighten up the eyes a little bit as well So I'm going to go in and just use that as my highlighter as well. And it's so pretty. This is like a very, very like champagne color. So look at that glow. It's so pretty. I love it. And then I am just going to set my face and i usually like setting my face when i have like all my powders on before i go in with my mascara and my eyeliner because for some reason every time i missed my face and like set it just the mascara ends up getting all over the place my eyeliner gets ends up running so i'm just gonna set it now and i'm gonna be using the stay all night micro fine uh setting mist so this one i heard is very very good for oily skin so I'm just going to use that to set my entire face. Oh, that's shaky. It has, a, has like a little bead in there or something. And that just helps shake everything up. Ooh, it smells so good. I am surprised it actually has a really nice scent. And it's just like this super fine mist um it feels very very refreshing and i just like i actually i really really like the way that it sprays out this is amazing i'm so glad that i picked two of them up because i know they're always sold out um and i needed some setting spray so i'm excited i'm gonna go put on my lashes do my eyeliner and i'll go ahead and show you guys the final look this is the final look you guys I am so obsessed I cannot believe like literally everything 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 was a 10 out of 10 I really really enjoyed these little bite size um, little eyeshadow palettes and the blush and highlighter duo like seriously I can just take these on the go in like my little bag and yeah you got a whole makeup look um, the eyeshadows blended really really well the highlighter was also really good and this is actually like a combination of both blushes so the wands were 10 out of 10 and this if you're gonna get this get this in the maui color because it's just like this gorgeous 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 very pretty pink blush so i really really liked it but that is it you guys i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you guys want to see more makeup looks like this like i said i usually do hauls i don't really do like get readies with me or like makeup looks which funny thing is when I first started my channel that's what I was going for I really wanted to do uh, like makeup tutorials makeup looks and yeah it ended up being a whole a whole channel so I really had fun um, doing this makeup look and before I go I did want to show you guys this um, angled blush brush that I did not end up using um, this one is from elf as well and this one is like my absolute favorite this is another one of the brushes along with the stippling brush that i have been using since high school and i stocked up on two of them because they're always sold out but it is just like the perfect angled brush like the bristles are so soft and i like using this for my powder contour so even though it says it's a blush angled blush brush this is like perfect for contour so I did not use a powder contour today, but I really like this brush. And 
my skin just feels amazing like i said i don't really use um cream makeup products because i do have oily skin and i used a lot a lot of cream products today and it is it feels super lightweight it's not feel heavy on my skin at all like i am just amazed but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time bye